Hello everybody, my name is Michael Parker and I'm with Teledyne Tech Support and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to do a back pressure compensation on our calibrator. And so I have a T700 calibrator and right now it's feeding a T400 ozone analyzer and we're getting pressure from a zero air generator, an M701 zero air generator that feeds uh, zero air up to the calibrator and then the calibrator lets air go out to the various places. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to determine if you even need a back pressure adjustment. And so the way that you do that is you generate through the manifold and have all the tubings connected just how you're going to have it, whether it's in the lab just calibrating one instrument or it's in your shelter where it goes up to the roof and back and you have an increased amount of back pressure. It, the calibrator, if it's more than two inches of back pressure, uh, that's the limit that we say. So you have to do some something else like get bigger tubing or decrease the flow rate. So right now what I have is I have 2.5 liters of flow going over to here and I look at the photometer pressure and I see that it's going from about 29 down to 28.5 or 6. Or 29 to, uh, down 28 down 28.6 hours. 0.4 or 0.5 inches of pressure difference between measure and rep. The absorption tube, every three seconds, a different gas is going through it at a different pressure, and we need to account for that different pressure. So the measure reference valve goes back and forth between measure and ref every three seconds, and we see this, this pressure changing every three seconds. 29.0, down to 28.6, so you go to 20.5. So it's 0.4 inches. If it's more than 0.1 inch, you need to make an adjustment. Okay? So one of the things that's crucial is to go to the back and find out just how much pressure is being uh, generated by the tubing that you're connecting and just how much pressure is inside of the calibrator to see if there's, you know, some back pressure in there, then we'll know, you know, maybe there needs to be some work done in the calibrator, or, you know, uh, we'll just find out how much pressure difference it is and we'll be able to subtract that away. So what I have is four ports in common here, and these three I'm taking off because that's uh, feeds a vent and one of them was capped off and this one goes over to our analyzer. And the last one here loops back into the photometer. We have to leave that one in place. And so now we'll go back to the front and we'll see how much back pressure is coming just from the calibrator. So now we have 28.6. And it's staying right at 28.6. So see, there's no back pressure associated inside of the calibrator. So all the pressure is coming from all the tubing that's connected. Here we have our vent. And here we cap off any unused fittings. We can only have one vent. And then here's the analyzer on the last one. And in order to do a back pressure compensation, you have to do it with all the tubings in place, just how you, you know, are going to do any of your calibrations or anything with the calibrator. So I've connected these back up. Okay, let's go back to the front now. All right, so the other thing that we need to do before we do this compensation is we have to look at the back pressure compensation factor. We call it the P delta gain. It's in VARS. So, VARS, and it's up near 23, somewhere up there. 
and there's P delta gain equals 3.09 PPBs for delta change in inches. So it's going to compensate. That's how it compensates. So we write that down, 3.09, okay? And then the way that you do a back pressure compensation is you go to setup, more, diag, 99. Go over here to back pressure compensation and enter. And then here will be a progress counter. So we'll see it's at 2% now. This takes somewhere on the order of five minutes or less. You see it's starting to get readings. So it's 3-5%. So I'll come back after it's done and we'll finish this presentation. Okay, so here we have finished the back pressure compensation and it says pressure comp passed and the new factor is 37.97. So we can go out into the VARs, you know, just to look at it so you can see. So set up more VARs, 929 and it's up at 23. And we can see there's the new pressure compensation factor so that when you have a difference in pressure, it will make an adjustment of 37 ppb on one side, and when the other side is, you know, not pressurized as much, it goes back to zero-ish. So it's making that pressure compensation. It's, import it's important to note that um, when you make this, con uh, this uh, compensation, you're not changing the pressure difference. You're just compensating for it. See, so now we have, we still have the 0.5 inches of difference, but we're just compensating for it. So the, it's more accurate. Over here, here's our analyzer. It's moving from 28.1, this is the sand pressure, down to 27.8, so it's moving 0.2 or 0.3 inches, that's fine for an analyzer. And so there you have it. If there's any questions that you guys ever have, please don't hesitate to contact tech support, okay? See you on the phone.